The ADB event today acknowledged that economies and communities in the region have been badly affected by the fall in commodity prices and extreme weather challenges, including the El Nino-induced drought. One of the key issues highlighted was that PNG could save up to an estimated 700 million kina with effective public spending. This could include the weeding out of non-performing workers and ghost positions. ADB's Pacific Department's Director of Transport, Energy and Natural Resource Division, Oli Norojono, commended PNG's decision to adjust physical policy in 2016, saying it was a realistic response in the light of the global economic situation. However, he said effective use of the 2016 budget can also soften the impact of the predicted slow growth. Although agriculture is potentially high in many regions, we notice that weak national transport systems and limited service delivery constrain the ability to, for rural inhabitants to participate in the economy. Country director of ADB's PNG resident mission, Marcelo Mink, said ADB remains focused on assisting the PNG government with priority infrastructure investment. The reason uh, we want to sustain investment in infrastructure to support the productive sectors and goes back to jobs and to the, to the economy. ADB's 2015 year in review also provided updates and showcased the achievements of ADB finance operations in PNG. Mr. Mink announced that ADB will increase its assistance in the new year in renewable energy, rural health and microfinance initiatives. Deli Waigeno, National, MTV News.